Vaigurjika Khalsa, Vaigurjiki Fateh, and welcome to Sikri's eighth day of the Vaisakhi E countdown celebration. Today, as we reflect on what Vaisakhi means to us, I find myself reflecting on where my connection to Sikhi began. Growing up, every Sunday, my family and I would go to the Gurdwara, and every night before bed, we would recite Mool Mantar and add one party at a time of Japji Saib as we learned and grew. But my personal connection started with singing along to Geetan in our family car as we drove from one place to another. As a child, I loved music and singing, and so Geetan became my way to connect with Sikhi in a very deep way. So deep that as an adult, I find myself spontaneously singing or thinking about a Shabbat that I learned in the car so many years earlier. One of the Shabbats that I learned that tends to float into my consciousness at times is Avar Allah Noor Ya Upaya Kudrat Ke Sab Bande Ek Noor Te Sab Jag Upajaya Kaun Pale Kaun Mande First the divine created light and then all mortal beings from this one light the entire universe bloomed so how is it that we can judge one good or one bad. These lines are not just a familiar tune that floats into my mind, but the words root themselves in my heart, and I hear them almost louder than the beautiful music they are presented in. It's as though my mind is awakened by the sound of the musical notes, which in turn have my ears keenly awaiting to hear the words that I can't find anywhere, no matter how hard I search. This particular Shabbat for me is a reminder that all beings on earth carry a spark of divine light within them. A reminder that all the people I meet deserve to be treated with the utmost respect and that it isn't my place to judge them for who they are as they were all created from the same spark of the one light. I first heard these words as a child, but I really started to think about them and what they meant as a teenager. As I went through university and left as a teacher, I thought about how the meaning of these words needed to be at the forefront as I created our classroom and space. I wanted an environment in the classroom where all students would learn to foster a sense of love for all those in this world. Fast forward 15 years, and as a vice principal in a high school, I'm still using this as inspiration in creating a school space and culture where connectedness, community, respect, and above all, love are at the center of everything we do. Our schools are the centers of our communities and are places where our children learn and grow and needs to be a place where our own diversity is nurtured and celebrated. This Shabbat is a reminder to me to treat every student, staff and community member as a little piece of that divine light that we are all created with. So in reflecting on Vesakhi, I think this is a great time to think about how we connect not only ourselves to the divine, but also how we connect with one another in our homes, in our workplaces, in our fun places and our communities. In my work at school, I think about how I work towards creating a welcoming and safe space for the incredible diversity of people and their thoughts and ideas into our school. I think about how my actions must come from a place that is rooted in the recognition that all beings are created in the same light. So as we celebrate Vesakhi, I hope that your connection to the one light continues to grow deeper and stronger vaiguru ji ka khalsa vaiguru ji ki fateh